One of the most interesting aspects uh, about birds is they really are in every ecosystem. They're present everywhere. And you can learn so much about just nature in general by learning about birds. It's something that you can study no matter where you are and you can appreciate without really knowing what you're listening to sometimes and it sparks curiosity. Migratory birds cross national borders regularly and at least twice a year, in spring and autumn. The invisible roads taken by the bird in the sky are called flyways. Some of these, for example, link the Arctic tundra of Scandinavia to the seashore of South Africa. And the birds undertake their epic migration with 20 to 30 of these wing feathers. I am Dr. Robert DeCandido. I've been running bird walks here in Central Park for the last 25 years. Locally, I'm known as Birding Bob. I can play different calls to bring in birds. In a good spring, we can get you know, 125, 150 species coming through the park. One of the major challenges that, that many populations, many species of migrants face is that you have habitat loss, you have increasing uh, pollution by light at night, you have an incredible number of, uh, in particular in New York and other big cities, large structures that, that go up into the atmosphere that affect the way birds move. So when you factor all those threats I mentioned into a uh, world where climate is changing rapidly, you really have a tremendous kind of a, a powder keg where you, you don't know exactly what's going to happen. I uh, work with the project eBird, which is a citizen science effort to collect birding data uh, about observations of birds across the globe. We had this great population of birders who were out, outside looking at birds all the time anyway, and so we developed tools to collect data from them about birds and then are using that to inform conservation. There's lots of ways that birds help uh, connect us. Uh, they, they are important uh, predators of insects. Uh, so for example, if we lose all birds, we're going to be overrun with spiders. Uh, and I don't think anybody wants that. Some of the most exciting work, I think, comes when, for example, I was just recently in Guatemala and we were in a forestry concession called Huashaktun within the Mayan Biosphere Reserve, one of the most important areas for migratory birds. And they might be able to see some of the migration maps that we've generated, but we were actually banding birds as well. When we were there and to show some of the members of the community, this bird actually flies to my yard and comes back here. And to show how important that is, that the work that they were doing to manage their forest in a healthy way, in a sustainable way, was allowing me to see birds in my yard. Migratory birds connect not only ecosystem, but also people and nation, having better education, better governance, and sustainable use of natural resources will create favorable conditions for the conservation of migratory birds. Their future is our future. <laughs>